Uh, hello, hello everyone. My name is uh, Binjie Xu. Uh, I'm a new PhD student. Uh, now I'm discussing my research proposal with my supervisor, supervisors. Uh, I am exploring the use of multimodal large language models to uh, monitor mental fatigue of plant and uh, machine operators. Uh, based on literature, where I found uh, uh, many research gaps on mental fatigue research. Uh, first aspect is identification. Uh, you know, factors such as age and the driving experience impacting mental fatigue of plant and uh, machinery operators are under researched in construction sector. Uh, these, fatigue, uh, these factors must be researched and uh, revealed to reduce unsafe behaviors, improve productivity, and relieve other safety issues caused by skilled levels, uh, shortage, and aging uh, population. Uh, the audition images or videos of facial features are often taken from the side of the job population to detect a mental fatigue. A new method is, new, is needed to capture the four facial uh, features. Uh, for example, capture from the front to increase the detection accuracy. The second aspect is measurement. Uh, the existing deficits are mostly about car drivers with few plant and uh, machinery operators. Uh, the use of the internet of the seas or AI driven approach may be useful to capture and enrich existing deficits for further research. Uh, in addition, previous uh, research categories operate mental fatigue into low and high levels based on facial features. This may lead to accurate identification of operator mental fatigue and a detailed classification may more accurately identify operator mental fatigue. Uh, this, the third aspect is monitoring. There are most studies only uh, collect data within two hours of average work. Uh, thus, lacking continuous real-time monitoring of operational mental fatigue. Continuous of, uh, monitoring of mental fatigue of plant and uh, machinery operators in real-time is needed for safety reasons. I think uh, five research questions and uh, objectives needed to achieve. Uh, the first question is, uh, what factors can impact operational mental fatigue? Uh, the objective is to identify the key factors uh, that can influence mental fatigue of operators. The second question is about what is the better way to collect data to advance research on mental fatigue of plant and uh, machinery operators. Uh, the, object, uh, the objective is to compare different methods of collecting facial features. The third question is uh, how to process the collected data set to meet our experimental requirements. The objective is to design a new method to process, uh, pro process uh, collected data. Uh, the next question is can the level of mental fatigue of uh, operators be classified in more detail? Uh, the objective is to provide a detailed description of different levels of mental fatigue. Uh, then uh, the next question is about how to achieve real uh, achieve real time monitoring and uh, identify mental fatigue of plants and uh, machinery operators. Uh, the objective is to develop develop AI driven first type to meet the needs of real time monitoring. Uh, I needed to explain why you to use uh, much uh, multimodal large language models. Uh, first, first of all, uh, to comprehensively reflect the level of operational mental fatigue. Uh, this study is, to design, is designed to collect data from multiple modalities such as text, images, and videos compared with uh, uh, large, uh, large language, language model, MLLM support uh, multimodal inputs, uh, allow us to, allowing us to input data and uh, the could be relevant information in a more flexible way. Uh, secondly, uh, uh, 
the addition uh, LLM uh, usually only collect uh, text related uh, text related tasks, while ML MLM can complete more tasks through more uh, multi modalities such as image description, visual question and answer, and so. Uh, Considering that stakeholders of this study may be safety managers, operators, and other personal engaged in related work. So we hope that the AI driven prototype uh, design based on MLM can uh, meet the security needs of these people. Uh, for example, safety managers can monitor and identify the level of operational mental fatigue in real time and focus on those operators with high levels of uh, mental fatigue. Uh, operators can understand the understand the unsafe behaviors or accidents that may occur when experiencing different levels of mental fatigue through the response of the model and the tech correspond solutions accordingly. Uh, I, uh, we plan to use uh, two different tools in this study. Uh, first, uh, first of all, it's a, uh, the tour is sensors. Uh, this study ho hopes to uh, understand the level of mental fatigue of operators from some other uh, physical characteristics. So using some variable, uh, variable sensors to obtain some size of operational mental fatigue is a good method, such as uh, variable pupil labs, eye tricks. Uh, invasive smart cushion, uh, we are able to EEG sensor and so on. And uh, uh, we also want to use cameras, uh, considering that facial features can more intuitively reflect the level of operational mental fatigue. We plan to use cameras to capture the operational facial features. Uh, this, this page is about research methodologies. Based uh, on literature review, we can find some uh, gaps on uh, operational mental fatigue. On the left, uh, the uh, uh, preliminary classific uh, classification of mental fatigue based on literature review. Next is, is design uh, a method based on uh, literature review to refine the classification of mental fatigue. And, uh, on, the, on the right, it is about uh, Data, uh, data acquisition, technology sele selection, and design based on literature review, and choose the uh, te uh, technique to process, uh, pre-process data and create some promise templates to create a data set. Developing uh, AI driven first step to monitor mental fatigue in real time based on MLM, and uh, finally, uh, analyzation, analyzing the Output the re, uh, results based on the AI driven prot, uh, prototype and uh, classify the level of uh, unsafe behaviors based on operator mental fatigue. Uh, thanks. That's also a very interesting topic. And I'm wondering how are you going to collect data? Uh, you said the people are going to stay at screens, but uh, yes, they have to work, you have to monitor them in the working. Yes. Uh, so you're going to place cameras in front of the drivers and uh, machine operators? Uh, yes, uh, I discussed how to collect data with my supervisors. You know, uh, Joseph told me it's uh, maybe difficult to uh, collect some data in Australia because of privacy. Uh, and uh, uh, I think I, uh, I maybe can collect data from China or, or other Place to do this Okay. There was a um, photographer in the early 90s before digital yes. stuff had had a big thing, and he um, did a similar analog um, photograph series of people at their um, computers. Um, yes. And oh, it's just a series of photos of people going, you know, like in different states of <laughs> anguish and <laughs> stress. So, <laughs> anyway. But that's, that's, I think that's an important point, and some of the research is, is based on AI here, and data issue, I mean, this research, this research will be important. Uh, 
have you considered simulation simulating data so there's always that option that you can create synthetic data oh uh, yes yes uh we can use we are or they are this uh invite some people to collect that stuff data. Yeah. and and the other thing is the the size of data so again we're talking about ai and we, you need to have large amount of data yes <laughs> yes i think that is something yeah, to discuss, really, but yeah. yes yeah, 